different from this guy. Yeah. Hi everybody, I'm Danny, and this beautiful pixel happy Bauhaus-esque coffee machine is the X Bloom Studio. And I'm gonna tell you about why I genuinely think they've actually knocked it out of the park with this machine. So let's have some coffee, chill out, and you can see if you want one or not. In a nutshell, the X Bloom is a high quality whole bean coffee pod machine. This updated version adds physical controls to make it very easy to adjust, and it adds a lot of new features that the previous version didn't have. I received this X Bloom for free from them, though I've not taken any money from them, and I actually reached out to them to review this because I was really excited about it. And I've used the previous X Bloom for about a year now, so I'm pretty well versed in them, and I, I genuinely just wanted to see how this thing stacked up. In the box, you're gonna get all the accessories you need to get started, including a brush, everyone needs a brush to clean the machine, an Omni Dripper, so you can start using your own beans when you're ready, and a free pack of, well, free, I don't really know if it's free, you're probably paying for it, but a free pack of X-Pods that you can get started right away with this thing. Now, the thing that really excites me about this machine over the previous one is that now you've got a serious physical interface on this, and it's got a really nice pixel display that I kind of love. When your coffee's done, you get a little coffee symbol with very minimalist pixel art. You also get a little heart, and you've got these three knobs. Now, it's only three knobs, but you can pretty much do everything you want, aside from a few little minor features that are only in the app with these. So you can do the scale, you can do the grinding adjustments, the water temperature, the RPM, and a few other things. So basically this machine has three sort of modes to it that you can use. One is the autopilot. That's where you put in a pod here. You just put it in, pour in the beans, and it will automatically make the coffee for you. The other mode is co-pilot mode. That's where you use the Omni Dripper, which is different from this guy. It's different, and you use it to pour in your own beans, and you're adjusting the settings for those beans. So it's kind of like, it's helping you, but it's a co-pilot. Or you've got what's called the free solo mode, which is honestly the most exciting thing about this machine because it allows you to use each of the functions on this thing separately. That is where the true value of this machine comes in. So let's take, for example, the scale. A scale is important so that you can weigh your beans to get consistent grinds out of them when you're making drinks and you want a repeatability. Now, a scale by itself is like $100 to $150 on its own for coffee. So we've got this one built in, um, and I have a solid gold coin here that is one troy ounce. It's about 31.1 something, so it should read between 31.1 and 31.2, depending on its accuracy. So how do you use that? Well, you press this scale button there, and then there's a T for tear, for time to tear. All right, so 31.1-ish it should be. Let's see what it weighs as in the middle. 31.2, that's acceptable. I'll move it to the corner here, 31.1, 31.3, 31.3. It was 31.3 on one side and 31.1 on the other side. That is close enough for coffee beans. I wouldn't worry about it too much. I would say I think it's the most accurate in the middle with a little deviation on the edges, which is acceptable. Like nobody's gonna be on the edge of the scale. That's, that's above and beyond what you need. Next up, we have the grinder here, but it's much improved over the previous version, I would say, for a few reasons. Now, you still pour the beans in the same way you do previously, but you can also now adjust the RPM specifically on it, which is all the craze. It, I don't normally do it, but I know a lot of people are into that. But you can also grind down to espresso fineness now all the way from iced coffee down to espresso. And I was a little bit skeptical, so I did try it out. I went to setting 80, which is like the coarsest cold brew kind of coffee you could make on it. But then I went down to one, which is the finest setting. And man, that is like sawdust. Like the sawdust you shouldn't breathe, basically. That's terrible. I'm in between espresso machines, so I haven't tested it in a puck yet. So I'm probably gonna do that in a later video to really assess this. But this, this is the big point about this. An espresso grinder is ludicrously expensive. It's, it's one of the most infuriating thing people in coffee go through is, is having to buy a very expensive espresso grinder and having one separate from your coffee grinder. So the fact that this can now go down to espresso size could have huge impacts on your like kitchen flow and, and your space. The other thing that is markedly improved about this is the anti-static technology. There's like 
barely any coffee grinds when it comes out and uh, they don't stick or anything. Like there's, there's just very few. So that is a huge improvement on this thing. Now let's talk about the brewer. It's hard enough to get consistent temperature out of a hot water brewer, but this thing and the previous version always did that really well. But what's better about this one is that it actually has a slightly higher flow rate so it can agitate your coffee beans better, which means that you're gonna get more agitation and a better extraction through your beans. This is the trifecta I'm talking about. Not only do you have a brewer, a grinder that does coffee and espresso, but you also have a scale, all in a very compact footprint for arguably less than what these three components would be separately for quality items. And let's talk about one other bonus feature about this machine I really like. The water tank is now significantly bigger. It holds at least one, maybe two more cups than the previous version, and I don't find myself refilling it all the time, which is great. Um, look, at, look at how little I had to get it over the machine to lift it out. So if you're using it under like a really low counter, chances are you'll never have to move the machine out because you can just lift the water out with minimal height change. Also, it has a water inlet line. So that means you could use a big jug of water somewhere to feed this thing, or if you wanna use a pressurized source with an accessory from their website, you can do that now. So if you really hate refilling your water on this machine, you can get around that. The previous machine did not have that. Okay, so you wanna know how to actually make some, some custom bean recipes with this. Well, let's get into it. So I got a little transparent cup here so we can enjoy the, the transparency of it. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is take off the X-Pod attachment and we're gonna put in the Omni Dripper. It comes with these custom little 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 uh, filters here. So you just put that in there, um, and you could uh, stick it right there, and it's good to go. Um, so the first thing you need to do when you're making your own cup of coffee in the morning and you have your own custom thing of beans is you need to weigh it out. I would recommend starting with like 15 grams of beans. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the scale here, and then we're gonna tar it. So that it's actually, we need to put this on here first. So you don't have to use this, but this is a little X-Bloom um, scale thing. So you could pour your coffee separately. So I'm gonna tear this. All that we're doing when we tear it is just saying, hey, it's got zero beans in it. So I'm gonna open up our custom coffee that we wanna dial into our own flavors. And I'm gonna go to 15. I'm really making a mess here. Eight grams, 15.1 15 is good enough. Okay, so now we got our coffee in there. We got 15.1. All right, so what you can do is now you've got your beans set. You can just go ahead and pour them in the hopper here. Boop. Yay. So now your machine is loaded with the beans that you need. And uh, here I am in the app right here. And uh, let's say that we wanna do our own recipe. So the machine comes with this little black card, which is basically like your default card. It will pick up your uh, default recipe that you prefer. In my case, I have a Danny Pops recipe. So we'll click on this. Um, and this app is actually really good because you can, oh, come on, let me edit it. How do I edit? Oh, you click the pencil. Okay, so as you see in the app here, um, at the top here I have a 15 gram dose a one to 15 coffee ratio or water coffee ratio, a grind size of 70. Um, and what's really nice about this app is look at this. As you go down in size, it tells you what it would be best for. So 30 would be good for AeroPress, below like 15 is like espresso. I really like that it gives you that frame of reference. This is much better than the previous app. So I'm gonna just put it at, we'll put it at uh, 80 or no, 70, 70 is fine. I have my thumbs in the way. 70, there we go. You can also change the grinder speed. Nah, let's do 100, I don't know why. And then you have, below here you have your pours. So I just have two pours because I'm a little simple Danny. 28% um, at the first part. You can tell it how much you want it to bloom, uh, what kind of agitation properties, you, or ad, like do you want it to agitate at the beginning. It's really confusing. You can dive into this more than I even care to. I'm gonna increase the pause time for the bloom to like, uh, I don't know, six seconds, that's good. Okay, and then my second pour, which you just click on, it shows you how much water's going in after that and the temperature and everything. So you see that you can really go crazy with this. I'm gonna change it to circular. All right, so I'm checking that off. I'm just gonna save it over as Danny Pops because this is not a sacred recipe. So now we're good to go. 
I've got this Bluetooth up to the machine here. I'm just gonna press start. And then it's just like, hey, make sure you got the beans in there, which is good. And it's brewing the Danny Pops recipe. Don't want to forget my glass. There you go. Barely any, in, like no coffee grinds there. And then it will actually show you the scale. Like it'll show you the weights, um, the water, the brew time, and a little mirrored thing with the display. It, way more information than you probably need. But I love it. And this should be the second one, I think. Yes, pour out a two out of two. Um, and we are good to go. This is gonna be the rest of the pour here. The great thing about this is we can pour it exactly like this. And if we don't like the taste, we can adjust it. Uh, if you drink espresso, this will be very familiar to you whether you know you wanna uh, change the dial, uh, you wanna dial up or dial down on the beans. Like if you wanna up the fineness or down it, depending on how bitter or acidic it tastes on your tongue. I have no idea how this is gonna taste. I did it the other day and dialed it in and it was, it was pretty good on my second attempt. The other thing I really like about this is if you do scan a default recipe from like one of these bags, then you can actually just use this other knob to change the ratio before you start the brew. So if you just want a little bit more coffee, you can get that now. That's a huge feature for me. Yep, it's done. So let's, let's take a little sippy sip. Oh, this is not a good glass for coffee. It's hot. That's pretty good. That's actually really good. Now, say that this coffee was like overly bitter, that would mean that it would be, have been over extracted, meaning the beans would have been too fine. So if you have coffee that kind of has a bitter taste, you can actually just grind the coffee to a little bit less fine of a degree, a little more coarsely, and it won't extract quite as much, and it should taste less bitter. So what you could do is you could Tap on your recipe there, Danny Pops, go to the edit button. And if I wanted to increase the grind size, all I would do is go from 70 to 80. And 80 is a more coarse grind, so therefore you'd have less uh, water getting in, interacting with the coffee for the, it would just, it would be less immersed in the water or less, um, I can't remember the word anymore. Basically, it would have less time to interact with the coffee and would change the taste. So that's all you do, and then you click check mark, and you are good to go. You could save it as a new recipe or as the old one. There is a, a plethora of control in this app, and it's actually very intuitive to use. I really like it. Um, when you change settings, the phone kind of rumbles a little bit to let you know that it's changed. Um, so it's, it's got a really nice, satisfying feature. And of course, if you don't have your own recipe, it'll probably give you some defaults to start with. Um, but that is how you could use the machine to, to do your own beans. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed seeing how this coffee machine works. I know when I say lots of positive things with very little negative, it can sound kind of like an ad and I get it. But honestly, like most of the things on this machine are very positive and I think the price of this is commensurate with what it's providing. So I actually think it's a pretty good value. Now you may have a different opinion and I would like to know what you honestly think in the comments. Nobody cares, just say it, just say what you honestly think about it because it helps the other people decide whether this makes sense to purchase. But if you do think that it's potentially a good purchase, uh, I will have affiliate links down below, which basically gives me a tiny percentage of what you buy at no cost to you and it just helps out the channel. Otherwise, like I will run out of money because <laughs> producing videos gets really expensive and it's also a lot of time. You don't have to. I'm grateful that you made it to the end of the video regardless, and you get a little, little brown coffee star. Thanks for staying till the end, and I appreciate you guys being here. I genuinely love making these videos and getting to hang out with all of you virtually. I wish we could do it in person someday, so if you lived in my neighborhood, maybe we could try the Explan together. But you probably can't. And in that case, I would just send you a little digital hug, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for hanging out. Let me know if you stayed till the end in the comments. Bye!